Today, we're gonna to take a look at an absolute dinosaur. A platform that's so old, it might actually be older than some people watching this video. We're talking about Intel Socket 775 platform and its line of quad-core CPUs from the year 2007. The best chance you have to extend the life of that platform far beyond anyone originally anticipated is an Intel Xeon CPU for Socket 771. But with a couple simple modifications, you can make it fit Socket 775. Our test system today is the ASUS P5Q motherboard, a Xeon E5450 quad-core CPU running at 3 gigahertz, and we're gonna be using eight gigs of DDR2 memory running at 800 megahertz. Our video card is gonna be the GeForce GTX 1070. All our games will be tested at 1920 by 1080 resolution. First game is The Witcher 3, Ultra Graphics Quality Preset, Hairworks Disabled, and the High Post Processing Preset. All these people think we're out on the quest to save the world, but no, we're actually out testing a vastly outdated oh. CPU where it was never meant to go to the center of Novigrad. And so far we're getting about 30 frames per second. CPU is loaded at 90% or more. And the GPU is relaxing at around 30% usage. So not too shabby for a CPU from 2007. GTA 5, we're using a combination of ultra and very high graphics settings. We're going for a little joyride, some sightseeing tour on the road, and we're getting frame rate mostly in the mid 30s, about 35 to 40. Sometimes if you're lucky you can even get more than 40 to the low 40s, but for the most part, frame rate mostly around 34, 35, CPU is loaded around 90 to 100 percent and look at that even the GPU is loaded around 60 to 70 percent so uh, let's let's celebrate by uh, taking a low high view observation point ah look at that that's better look at that scenery 45 frames per second Fallout 4 Ultra Graphics Quality Preset We're in the middle of Boston after a nuclear apocalypse enjoying some scenery, some sightseeing and this is basically the most demanding busiest area of the game as you can see we're getting about uh, 18 or 20 frames per second so definitely struggling with performance uh, CPU is loaded about 90% or more and the GPU is just sleeping at around 25% usage. So although it's playable at this rate, uh, it's not very enjoyable. Doom from the year 2016 using the Ultra Graphics Quality preset. We're on planet Mars doing some casual target practice and you can see even in stock settings we're getting a solid 60 frames per second. CPU is loaded about 80 to 90 percent. GPU is about 30 40 percent loaded. So no problem whatsoever for this 2007 quad core Xeon. Rise of Tomb Raider using a very high graphics quality preset. We're located in the geothermal valley, basically the most demanding area of the game. Taking a little hike through the woods and uh, you can see we're getting performance mostly in the mid 20s to low 30s frame rates. Uh, the CPU is basically pegged at around 100% usage. And the GPU is just uh, relaxing there, sleeping at about 40% usage. We'll see if uh, throwing a chicken can improve my performance. Oh, look at that. 
over 50 frames per second. That's some amazing chicken magic. Deus Ex Mankind Divided Ultra Graphics Quality Preset. We're taking a little sightseeing tour of Prague in a dystopian future. And we find that our 2007 CPU is a little underpowered to enjoy a sightseeing tour. Frame rate mostly in the mid to low 20s. Mm. CPU is basically pegged at 90 to 100%, and the GPU is relaxing at about 40% usage. Nice time for a walk. Far Cry 5 using the ultra graphics quality preset. Doom is here. Taking a nice peaceful stroll through the woods, doing some camping. We're getting about 40 frames per second. CPU usage around 90% and the GPU usage is about 40%. So this is a good time to do some overclocking. So we raise the front side bus to 444 megahertz, which gives us a four gigahertz CPU and the memory running at 1066 megahertz. So we're back in the woods again, this time armed with our heavily overclocked CPU. And now in Far Cry 5, we're getting frame rate in the 50s. And also the GPU usage is higher, nice uh, about 60%. So we're already off to a good start with our overclocked CPU. The Witcher 3, we're back in Novigrad to test our overclocked CPU and now you can see we're getting frame rate in the 40s. So nice improvement compared to the stock settings and the GPU usage is also up to about 50%. GTA 5 with the overclocked CPU. Going for a little joyride and now you can see we're getting a nice healthy 50 frames per second. Sometimes dropping below 15 to the 40s. But for the most part we're getting around 50 frames per second. Sometimes even uh, more than 50. Or sometimes less. Anyway, we're going to keep driving. See what kind of performance we get. And look at that. Frame rate keeps climbing. I think we're gonna go go to a usual spot and celebrate. Celebrate and take in some sightseeing views. And check that out. Over 60 frames per second. Fallout 4, we're back in Boston with our overclocked CPU and now we're getting frame rates in the mid to high 20s and whereas before we were getting frame rates less than 20 frames per second, well now we can sometimes even get 30 frames per second or more. Rise of Tomb Raider with our overclocked CPU taking a run through the woods frame rate in the 30s and it did not drop below 30 frames per second and that demanding part right there that's a very important achievement now frame rate in the 40s and now even in the 50s so a nice noticeable improvement with our overclock cpu let's see what happens when you throw a chicken off a bridge look at that 70 frames per second amazing Deus Ex Mankind Divider, we're back in Prague with our overclocked CPU and now we're getting frame rate in the mid 30s. So nice improvement there, feels more playable, sometimes even reaching about 40 frames per second. Let's keep walking through this more demanding area here and the frame rate drops under 30 into the 20s. So not as bad as it was on the stock settings. The CPU is still pegged to about 99% CPU usage and the GPU usage is now up to about 60%. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.